CNC machines are used to precisely cut, shape, and mold various types of materials like wood, metal, and even plastics. Usually, they're very large machines and they can cost tens of thousands of dollars. In this video, I'll be partnering with Makara to take a look at their desktop CNC machine, the Carvera Air. And as someone who's never used a CNC machine before, I have zero experience. So I'm really excited to see how user-friendly this little machine is. And is it really an acceptable piece of equipment for someone with zero experience like me? We're gonna find out in this video Let's go ahead and get started. Over the past few days, I have worked my way through the various example projects that Makara includes with the Carvera Air. So they actually have a book. And one thing that I really love about this whole machine and setup, on their YouTube channel, they have dozens of videos that guide you through every step of the process, from the setup of the machine uh, to each feature and how they're used. And they even do walk-by-walk -walk guides of each of the example projects. And I definitely feel more confident with this machine after working my way through the various example projects. I think that's really the purpose of those example projects is so that a beginner like me with zero experience can gain some experience and learn how to use each of the features. Many CNC projects can be rather complex which means you're gonna to have to change tools throughout the project or throughout the build. And one thing that really stood out to me about the Carvera Air was just how easy it is to change out the tool. So it actually has a quick tool change system. With a quick tool change system, you're able to change out the tools in less than 10 seconds, which reduces idle time and allows you more build time. With this, there's a handle on the left side of the machine. You just pull it down, take out the first tool, put the second tool in, and then press the handle up and you're done. So it makes changing tools super easy and user friendly. This machine takes out the meticulous setup or the guesswork for a beginner like me as it does the probing and leveling automatically. Auto probing and leveling streamlines CNC milling by automatically calibrating tools with precision. These features detect surface irregularities, efficiently eliminating much of the manual setup. As a result, they ensure accurate cuts even on uneven material, significantly boosting machining precision. This leads to greater consistency, reduced material waste, and overall higher quality CNC results. And I have to say that I was definitely impressed with the accuracy and precision of the finished projects. Especially when I was working with the fourth axis project, this was able to carve out a 3D model and I think it did a much better job of any 3D printer that I've ever tried before. If you really need accurate and precise 3D models, I think this is a preferable route to go with versus most standard 3D printers. The kit that Makara sent out to me included the optional five watt laser head and I really enjoyed the extra benefit of having the laser engravings. There are plenty of projects that I've already thought about that are gonna be perfect for the five watt laser head. The example project was a laser engraving of a photo and I think that's definitely a great use case for this. My personal favorite part of this machine is definitely the debris control. So this machine can get pretty messy, especially when you're carving substances like plastic or acrylic that are not very heavy and tend to fly everywhere. Um, first of all, I do like the fact that this has a hood that covers the entire machine. So that really does help to contain the mess that the machine makes. And I think it does a really good job there, but having that extra debris control is really a great added benefit. The only issue that I ran into this is that every vacuum hose that I have in my house, so I've got shop vacuums and a couple of upright vacuums, they all had the larger hoses and this has a very small nozzle. So one thing that I did is I actually used my 3D printer to make an adapter and that seemed to work really well, especially when carving acrylic. This did a great job of sucking up the debris into the vacuum and keeping it from making a huge mess. The Makara controller can be used on a variety of different devices from your PC to your tablet and even your smartphone. It's very easy to control this device. They also include Makara Cam, which is an intuitive, easy to learn cam software, giving you an all-in-one CNC machining experience for 2D, 3D, fourth axis and laser projects for the Carvera Air. As someone who's never used this kind of software in the past, it did take a little bit of learning. So there was a, a slight learning curve here, but thankfully, Makara has an entire YouTube of tutorials kind of instructing you through the entire process of your designs and your builds 
in the Makara cam software. So it was pretty easy. Within a few hours, I had successfully designed my first project and milled that out on the Carvera Air. And I think it turned out pretty nice. Let's go ahead and make a project. I'm gonna kind of walk you through all the steps so you can see how easy this actually is for a beginner. I've got a few under my belt, so I'm pretty confident to go ahead and walk you through one. We'll go ahead and position and secure our stock for the project. So we're just gonna clamp this down in the corners here. This is one of the practice examples that's already programmed in. So we'll go into our files. We'll go to examples folder, go to this relief, and we'll choose this pirate ship in C and we can hit select. Next, we'll configure the project. So click the configuration button. Uh, we'll set the work origin here on anchor point one with three millimeters on the X and three millimeters on the Y. Okay, then we'll go ahead and make sure that scan margin and auto Z probe are enabled and then we can click run to get this going. We need to go ahead and insert the probe tool. All right, once the probe tool is inserted, we can go ahead and confirm and this is going to go ahead and map out the project using the laser probe. Now that it has everything mapped out and leveled, it's telling us to go ahead and change to tool number one, which we'll do now. And we can go ahead and confirm now that we have tool one in place. All right, so finished with the first step, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum all this out. All right, this is ready for us to change out to tool number two. So we'll go ahead and connect the vacuum here so you can kind of see the difference with and without. You guys saw how big of a mess it made without the vacuum. So we'll get this attachment installed here. It just hooks on with a magnet like that. It's ready for us to put in tool number one again, so we'll take it. Our project is complete, and we can go ahead and take this out. It does leave a few little tabs here that we'll need to cut out with the handsaw. All right, and there is the final design. Overall, I have to say that I've really enjoyed my time with the Makara Carvera Air. As for whether or not this is a good machine for a beginner like myself, I have to say that in the past, the thought of a CNC machine has been a bit overwhelming, and I thought it would take a long time for me to get to learn to know how to use one, but I think with the tutorials that they provide and the user friendliness of the machine itself, this has been a great experience for myself as a new user, and I would definitely recommend this to anybody that wants to try out a CNC machine. I'll be sure to include links in the description so you can find out more information about the Makara Carvera Air and purchase one for yourself. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.